Hello everybody, I'm Sven-Erik Beckmann, I'm the major owner and the lab manager for Degefors Laboratory in Sweden. And we are a contract lab with over 1,000 customers and we have uh, 10 employees today. And we grow about 25% per year since we started. Could you, Sven-Erik, tell us which instruments you have in use in your laboratory today? Yeah. We have seven optical emission, we have three wavelength dispersion of XRF, we have several combustion instruments for carbon, sulfur, nitrogen, oxygen and hydrogen. And how many analyses are you processing in your lab? We are doing about uh, 2000 samples per month and it's growing about 25% per year. And that's, that also includes the sample preparation? We have all the equipment necessary for the sample preparation for these instruments. And what about the response time to your customers? It's our business idea, answer on the same day as the sample arrives. Could you tell us about the newest instrument investment you've done in your lab, the new ARL iSpark model 8880? Yes, we have had this instrument for now over two months and we have tested and compared with, with our existing instruments. Which are the most important factors you have been evaluating when choosing this spectrometer? Uh, for a lab like us, the detection limits are very important, the stability of the instrument, the precision of the analysis, and also the flexibility of the instrument. And uh, these four points uh, fulfill our expectations more than we need. In addition to these four factors, we have in this instrument a built-in CCD spectrometer. What additional feature do you get with that? First of all, we are really surprised and positively surprised about the performance of the instrument compared with the PMT. And it's almost as good as uh, for most elements as the PMT. In addition to that one, we can choose uh, other lines, we can choose extra elements. In the instrument you also have the spark dot option included, with which you can determine inclusions in steels. Yes, that was one of the reasons that we really test the instrument was the spark test system because it's very important for the steel manufacturer to measure the cleanness of the steel here. And as it is performed, it's very easy to use uh, for, for anyone and it doesn't take longer time to do the analysis as do the, the chemical analysis. You get it in the same time. And how about the use of the instrument? Have you found it out easy to use? It can't be simpler. You just open the lid, take off the holder, clean the electrode, change the sample, put the holder back and close the lid and it starts automatic. How about the cleaning of the spark stand? Uh, it can't be simpler. So you, once a week you just open it up here without any tools and you just lift it. And you clean it Put it back, close these ones, put the sample on, it takes you seconds to do it. What about the argon consumption on the ice park? Well, it's one of the things we really checked with the instrument because uh, we try to keep our cost as low as possible. So with this instrument it has a built-in echo mode system, it means that when you're not running the instrument, the gas consumption goes down to absolute minimum. And we have measured during the testing period that instead of you changing a bottle every fortnight, we can, it's been running over one month now. So it's much, much better. So Sven Erik, how would you like to conclude your experiences of the ice park? Well, as we are a contract lab, we always look at the cost. And uh, with, the, with the echo mode for gas consumption, mm -hmm. it gives us a much, much lower consumption. Secondary, we also look at the tools that the instrument can give us, what we don't have before. It's a spark that, that we can make the inclusions. And also the CCD spectrometer, that we make it possible to add lines and also to add other elements we don't have. Uh, and also, as we are a uh, uh, few people in the lab, the time for maintenance is reduced. It's much, much shorter than earlier. And finally, listen to the instrument. It's really, really silent. Uh, Sven-Erik, thank you for your time and effort. Thank you yourself.